Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I had an okay one. Um, uh, 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 we lost an hour, uh, but I think it's so wonderful that we lose an hour in the spring and we get an hour in in the win uh, fall, because um, when when light, you know, when when days are getting lighter, you you can kind of you know. From the sun you get the energy, whereas like when it's dark, you know, an hour of sleep is like you don't want to lose that one. Huh? Maybe even when you're a mother of an infant of six months, you actually don't want to lose that hour either, but it is what it is. Uh, I am very grateful today for, um, for my family law. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so wonderful to have them. They've been in Spain, they have a house there and... Uh, and it's so lovely to have them back and uh, we were on the phone with uh, Gemma's auntie in Australia and uh, it's just lovely to have a, a wonderful in-law family. Um, it's not always like that. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people can relate. Um, I'm very grateful for uh, <coughs> for the sun and, and the days that are getting lighter. Um, it's uh, it's so beautiful in Sweden right now, and uh, I can't wait for the summer to come. Uh, spring is such a wonderful season um, with hope, and I think if there's anything we need today in the world, it's hope of a lighter time because right now everything is so heavy. Um, so yeah, very very grateful for that. Uh, I'm also very grateful for yoga. I am. Um, yoga has changed my life just as the 12 step program. I was um, a very uh, impatient, uh, competitive, um, kind of uh, not uh, the most humble person before I got into yoga and, um, and uh, I got kind of, you know, knocked from my. Uh, from my uh, pedestal, you know, from addiction. Um, and uh, in the beginning, it was extremely hard to realize, you know, that I'm just a human, <laughs> just like everyone else, and that we do uh, our best. Uh, but um, in the long run, you know, I'm extremely grateful for, you know, getting that humbleness and understanding that, that we are all different, we do our best, you know, and, um, and that that is okay. Uh, I also learned to love myself and people around me in a totally different way from understanding how enormously judgmental and uh, and high of a, of an achiever that I, I was. And um, it's been it's so much nicer to live now. I didn't know, you know, this was like I didn't have any insight about this competition. Um, uh, mentality that I had I was just kind of like I was programmed that way and that was like the only way to go um, so I'm very very grateful that I, don't have, that I don't have to live under that pressure anymore uh, this week that's been you know with all the stress from what happened on YouTube and uh, finding another direction and you know um, reminded me of, of how my life used to be when I had so much pressure you know on on um, achieving goals like every day um, and the stress level that is um, it was it was really great to be reminded uh, of you know um, how lucky I am not living like that anymore um, so I feel very grateful for my life and, and the way that I managed to build it up through YouTube and the, and the Patreon uh, I'm gonna make a one hour session today for my patrons. If you want more yoga and more of me, you should subscribe there. It's also gonna come like I'm working on a long-term plan for, for this content uh, that you get access to here and uh, more content like that. Uh, I'm gonna present the package eventually and it's gonna be uh, possible to kind of pre-subscribe. But I'll let you know as, as soon as I do. <laughs> it's a work in progress. So have some patience and, and uh, keep your eyes open.
Get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye help you observe what's going on in your body and in your mind. We are going to start taking control of our breath, so on the inhalation feel our belly is expanding. On the exhalation drag your belly button towards the spine. We're gonna come back to this breathing eventually, but first we're gonna do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and hard. Inhale to start. Very good job, we're gonna do the hip roll, inhale forward. Exhale back. And we can switch direction. Beautiful. We're going to come to all our fours. So place your hands straight underneath your shoulders. Place your knees straight underneath your hips. So we're going to do the cat and cow. Inhale, come forward with your belly to the top of your fist. Exhale, come up. Drop. 
drag your belly button towards the spine. Beautiful. Now, let's find sitting and uh, actually let's do a wide leg forward then. Um, so, come out with your legs to the sides, straighten up the back and exit then. One more breath. Inhale, come up and come back to Taylor's position. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this very moment. Slowly come back to the room where you are. 
We're gonna finish this class together with three shanti. Place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to start. Shanti. so much for today. Remember to go up and give. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.